Hello and welcome to this woodworking safety video. First we will talk about the safety testing procedure and then we will go over some general safety rules. Everyone is going to need a copy of the safety packet. Make sure you put your name on it. The standard we will be going over today is on the sideboard. 3710A Technological Devices Identify and safely use a variety of tools, basic machines, materials, and techniques to solve problems and answer questions. Flip open to the first page of the safety packet so we can talk about the testing procedure. It says everyone will receive a packet, watch the safety demos, study for the safety test, and finally take the safety test. The safety test is a series of true and false questions. Any questions you get wrong, you will have to write correctly 10 times. I know your hand might hurt from doing all this writing, but it'll hurt less than losing a finger. If you score an 85 or higher, you may use the machines once you've completed writing the sentences. On the other hand, if you score below an 85%, you will have to write the sentences to prepare for a retest. Hopefully everyone will study and we will not have to worry about this. If you have to take the retest and score an 85 or higher, you will write the sentences and then be allowed to use the machines. If you cannot score an 85 or higher on the retest, you will write the sentences and then use hand tools until you can show your instructor that you are motivated enough to try the test again. The following general safety rules apply to all students working in the laboratory area and must be observed by all students at all times. Number one, students will wear safety glasses at all times in the lab, even when you're not using a machine. Two, Students are not permitted to use any of the machines until they have first been given the necessary safety instruction and passed the safety test. So no one is currently allowed to use any of the machines. Three, machines may be operated only when a certified instructor is present. The instructor must be certified to teach tech ed or industrial arts. That means no other teachers, including substitutes, can let you use the machines. Four, see that all guides and guards are in their proper place before operating any machines. We'll talk about this for each machine as we go through the safety demos. Five, if you find a machine out of order or adjustment, report it at once to your instructor. If something appears broken or breaks while you're using it, please let your instructor know right away. Uh, this doesn't look right. Oh, I'll help you with that. And here, you forgot your safety glasses. 6. Machines must never be cleaned or adjusted while in motion. This could result in injury or cause damage to the machine. Seven. Special setups must be checked by the instructor before operating. If you're doing something unusual or something you've never seen demonstrated, ask your instructor to check what you're doing. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff these kids try and do. I walk by and it's like, are you trying to get yourself killed? Eight, loose clothing must be securely fastened or removed before turning on the power. Loose clothing like long t-shirts or hoodies can get caught in machines. Guys, come over here. You're gonna have to take off the jackets and hoodies. Aww. 9. Long hair must be tied back to prevent it from being caught in the machines. Girls and guys with long hair, you're going to need to bring a rubber band or something to tie your hair back. Thanks for tying back your hair. No problem. 10. Closed-toed shoes are required. You need to protect your feet in case something falls. Can you show everybody your shoes? Flip-flops and sandals are just not going to work for us. Number 11. Tools must be removed from the machines before operating them. Tools tend to vibrate off machines while they're running, and this can cause them to be damaged. Number 12. The power must be shut off and the machine stopped before the operator leaves the area. You need to wait by the machine until it stops. It takes between 7 and 10 seconds for most of the machines to stop.
This prevents someone else from walking up and getting hurt because the blade was still coasting. Number 13. No student should start a machine for another student. Can I turn it on? 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 No, and go get your safety glasses. Aww. 14. Do not distract or startle the operator of any machine. Talking to an operator is also a distraction. When people are talking, they tend to make eye contact, and then they're not paying attention to where their fingers are in relationship to the blade. It's gonna be rough, Dal. It's gonna be rough. I didn't want to speak. To All right, don't lose your temper. I'll come right back and give you a hand. Fifteen. The red safety buttons are used only in the case of emergency. If something goes wrong, you can press the red safety buttons to turn off the power to the equipment in the lab. Sixteen. Horseplay can be the cause of serious accidents and is never permitted in the lab. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. This includes running, pushing, shoving, and throwing things. 17. Students other than the operator must stay clear of the machine being operated. Can you boys go drool somewhere else? Uh, uh. Eighteen. Be sure the switch is off before inserting the plug into an outlet. Nineteen. Keep in mind that safety is not a set of rules, but rather basic common sense that must be practiced 100% of the time to avoid accidents and prevent injuries.